So here we're going to look at, um, if you remember, we mentioned that U can be written as in uh, as a row matrix or a row or a column matrix. So um, let me just reiterate that. So here's V, and here I am expressing them both in terms of as as uh, row matrices. So these are row matrices, as mentioned earlier in the previous lecture. Now, in this particular case, now I'd like to put here for you the dot the dot product. This is the dot product of U and V. What I'd like is for us to see, is it possible for us to look at and express the dot product as a product of two, the two row matrices that we see with some manipulation? Well, clearly, uh, one of the, the rules, the main rule in multiplication of uh, matrices is that the number of columns of the first matrix must equal the number of rows of the second. Now, the other thing is that, uh, now if you look at this matrix here, the first matrix for you, it's it's got n columns, okay? It's got n columns. And the second one is V, it's got n columns as well. Now, if we take the transpose of V, we will get um, one column, okay, and n rows. So therefore, the columns of the first will equal the rows of the second. And if you think about it, when we take that multiplication, this is an, uh, just, just for information here, uh, you know, this is a one by n matrix, and this is also a one by n matrix. Now, what would happen if we were to take, if we were to take V transpose, V transpose would be this matrix, V1, V2, Vn. And this is an n by one matrix. So when we multiply a one by n matrix with an n by n matrix, we end up with a one by one, which is what this in fact is. It is a scalar entry. So therefore it seems that if we were to multiply U with V transpose, we would in fact end up with um, the following product, U1 V1 plus U2 V2 plus up to Un the n, which is in fact u dot v. Right. In a similar way, in, on, if u was the column vector u1, u2, up to u n, and v was also the, a column vector, a column matrix, sorry, v1, v2, up to v n, then rather than taking the transpose of the second matrix, if we took the transpose of U and multiplied it into V, we would end up with the same situation. We would end up with U1, V1, plus U2, V2, UN, VN, which is U dot V. What we want to understand and demonstrate through this is that um, it is possible to use matrix notation, matrix representation uh, of vectors, and in fact, uh, one can calculate the dot product um, or interpret the dot product as a product of two matrices. All right. So these ideas can be extended to, for instance, if we have uh, A U, where A is an n by n matrix, n by n. Okay, and we're assuming that U and V are n by one, are n by one uh, matrices, which means they're column matrices. So uh, this, of course, according to the multiplication we've looked at before, can be written as V transpose A product U, okay? And it can also be, it can also be written as V transpose A product U, or um, it can further be written as um, A transpose V, all transpose, remember the transpose transpose is gives us back the original multiplied by U, which is U dot, in fact, A transpose V, okay? So that's a very interesting little result um, for you to keep in mind, and you can get some other manipulations of that as well. It is a similar result can be gotten from U dot A V, so U dot a V, in fact, turns out that it's equal to A transpose U dot V.
okay? So when, we, when I say that, of course, I'm talking about these two being together, okay? So here these two are together, remember. Alrighty. 